Hello world, it's Yasmin Boland. All the Australians will get that reference. How are you all doing? It's actually more true for this, isn't it? Hello world, there's people all over the world joining here. It's a reference to an Australian radio announcer called John Laws, who was big in the, I don't know, 80s, sometime like that. He uh, had a golden microphone, I think, if I'm not mistaken. He used to say, hello world, at the start of every show he did. But he was only broadcasting around Australia. We can, these days, on the internet, we can really say hello world. Hello world, how are you? Tell me where you are. Tell me where you are. Um, so today is Tuesday and it's, uh, it's an interesting day because we are in the lead up to the full moon eclipse which is going to be taking place at the end of the week. And I really wanted to talk about that. Everybody's hopping on. Hello, hello everybody. Um, I want to talk about the full moon eclipse and how you're feeling about it and also to kind of expand on something I was talking about. Yes, Kathy says, yes, we remember him. Who could forget John Laws? Is he, he's still alive though, isn't he? He's probably no longer broadcasting. Um, I want to talk to you about the eclipses in general. So what's going to be happening is the eclipse season is going to be kicking off uh, this Friday. And we are going to get the first of the eclipses. It's going to be in a full moon in the sign of Sagittarius. Lorraine's saying super emotional after the last couple of days. A lot of people have been saying they've been extra emotional. I've actually been slightly less extra emotional. I was really extra emotional a couple of weeks ago, like about a week or two ago. Um, I've been crying at everything, you know, crying at TV ads and crying, you know, because Major Tom got made into a knight, Sir Tom, you know, the, the old dude who raised 30 or 40 million pounds for the NHS, bursting into tears when I read about that, you know, crying about everything, basically, super emotional, which I think is the whole thing of, um, you know, the lockdown thing that we're all experiencing. And, you know, Plus, also, I don't. There's not. There won't be that many people um, on these calls live uh, in the states because it's five eleven a.m. in in on the eastern east coast and something like I don't know what is that three one a.m. or something on the west coast. But you know what is going on in the states is also impacting all of us. Um, you know, and it's very, 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 you know, congruent with the energies around right now, which is that we are moving towards the eclipses and the world is, you know, it's, I mean, it's fit to, to blast at this point, you know, uh, someone was, there was an article in one of the English papers saying, um, saying, uh, the, the authorities are sort of pleased and delighted about the fact that there actually hasn't been much civil unrest in England, which, you know, I'm, I mean, in one way you think, well, that should be a given, like we're civilised human beings. Why are we going to go and maraud through the streets and, and cause unrest? Um, but, you know, obviously in the States, because of the, uh, the travesty that happened uh, with George Floyd, um, there are people out there now... Um, well, for one, protesting, which I think we can all agree with the idea of protesting, but then also taking it further uh, into um, into looting, you know. And uh, Stella is making an interesting point. There's a lot of duality. And, you know, I'm really glad you said that, Stella, because honestly, last night as I watched um, the looting in the States and thought about, you know, the way the situation is and the civil unrest and the now President Trump is thinking about bringing in the military and, you know, there are curfews and burning things down, which, by the way, reminded me a little bit of what went on in France for quite a few months last year and this year, which was what they called the Gilets Jaunes, which was, uh, it started you know, kind of for all the right reasons, just the way the whole uh, what's what's happening in the States started for the right reasons. Uh, you know, like people protesting against a travesty of someone being murdered in the street by a policeman, um, you know, in a horrific way caught on camera, which is, I mean, it's just awful. I mean, it's beyond awful. All words can't even describe it. Um, but now, obviously, the looting that's going on is not even necessarily related to that. It's a, a next level of civil unrest, which is probably partly coming from the fact that we've all been cooped up for however many weeks it's been, like 12 weeks, I think, now. And But again, it comes back to the eclipses. So 
what Stella just said about the duality, you know, that really touches me because I was thinking yesterday as I was watching all this, uh, I think I caught a bit of it on my phone, you know, scrolling around. I try to avoid the news to a large extent. But I was thinking, oh, so much for the world changing, you know. We've all been hoping that this lockdown is going to change things and change the people and change the way we live and change the human race and we have a chance to evolve at the moment but what have we done you know we've literally reverted back to this old behavior of you know there's us and them there's you know looting which you know looting is you know somebody pulled me up on instagram because i said if you're more worried about the way people are protesting than what they're protesting about then you want you you're part of the problem and someone said, well, I don't know how you can say that because, you know, people are looting, they're smashing up people's shops, they're wrecking people's livelihoods. You know, there are people who, you know, you might have a, a shop, I don't know, say a cafe or and probably not a cafe, a gift shop, you know, which is all closed down now because of um, the pandemic. And people are smashing in there and stealing all your stuff, you know, and I said, actually, wait a minute, I'm not talking about the the um, looting, I'm talking about the protesting. You know, everybody has the right to a peaceful protest. But the looting that's coming now is really, it is distressing because it's people trampling over other people. You know, it's people, you know, ruining other people's houses um, or ruining their shops or ruining their livelihoods. And it's like, come on, aren't we better than this now? Haven't we had all these weeks and weeks of lockdown to, to evolve? And have we evolved at all? You know, and obviously you could say, well, you know, Derek Chauvin or whatever his name is, um, you know, the, 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 the guy who's been charged, the ex-policeman who's been charged with murder for the murder of George Floyd, we could say, well, he's the problem. He's the root cause of the problem. And he obviously hadn't changed at all, you know, because there he is doing what he did in full view of the public, you know, literally killing someone before our very eyes. I found myself almost watching um, the video actually and just turning it off because I was like, no, I actually really don't need to see any more of this. I've seen enough. I've seen the transcripts, you know. And so we say, okay, well, he hadn't changed, but then our response hasn't necessarily changed either. So I don't know. I'm kind of despairing at the moment. How are you all feeling? Sally Jenkins says, yes, terrible duality, the government pushing things over the edge. Yeah, and it's like on the one hand, you've got people, you know, who are meditating and praying and, you know, um, Karina says, if you protest, you're adding to negative energy and anger and hatred. How about taking action for peace? Look, I get what you're saying, but I would argue that there is a large group of people who are trying to take action for peace with their protests. You know, in France, they have a really strong culture of protests and actually demonstrations, and they call them, um, they call them um, manifestations. OK, manifestations, manifestation. And they're, they're part of the French culture. Like it's almost like it's a basic human right. If you're a French person to be allowed to go into the streets and voice your displeasure about whatever. And that's actually where the gilet jaune thing started. And I, I feel really embarrassed. But I actually can't remember what the gilet jaune thing started about. I think it was. I, honestly, I can't even remember. It all got so overtaken. It was just a small protest that started with a group of people who were not happy about something that was fair enough not to be happy about. A bit like the whole George Floyd thing is, is happening now. It's fair enough. No one can be happy about what happened, you know. Even his wife is divorcing him. Um, but then it turned into these mass lootings and we we're in Paris one weekend around this around the time of this and I probably need to check the astrology and see if it was eclipses then as well but they were literally like burning stuff like chucking you know chucking stuff over and burning it it was just absolute mayhem and chaos so what is happening to the human race and this is I mean everybody who's watching this if you are watching this right now you are basically being called to try and help shine the light and as someone as that person just said you know take action for peace so why don't we say we're going to make a commitment to be the peace that we want to see in the world you know i think that's about the only thing that we can do um we need to be the peace that we want to see in the world and you know i mean obviously there's a hope that what's happening now is actually going to change things you know but I mean, I'm not a cynic, 
but uh, you know last time they went in and they someone you know they did a mass shooting in the states i thought this has got to be the change you know the sandy hook thing this has got to be the change nothing changed can we change it i don't know can we try yes we can we can try so what about if we just take a moment to put our hands over our hearts okay and just breathe just breathe hands over your hearts and breathe I've got a song coming into my mind and I'm gonna sing it it's a bit it's probably a bit you know daggy as we say in Australia but I'm gonna sing it it's a song I used to we used to sing when I was in a choir I think when I was a teenager let there be peace on us and let it begin with me i told you it was a bit daggy but the words are let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me okay so now put your hands over your heart chakra and say it with me silently or out loud. Let there be peace on earth. And let it begin with me. We'll do it three times. Let there be peace on earth. And let it begin with me. Let there be peace on earth. And let it begin with me. And you know what occurs to me as I'm, as I'm saying that? It's not just that we have to be peaceful with our families. Dean Gaynor saying I'm a daggy Aussie too. Yeah, it was a bit daggy, but whatever. <laughs> um, I think the words just came to me. I probably didn't need to sing them, but <laughs> I'm Miss World. Um, you know, it's things like being nice to your partner, even when your partner's annoying you. Being nice to your kids, even when your kids are annoying you. Being nice to your neighbours, even when your neighbours are annoying you. Being nice to people on public transport, even when people are on public transport are annoying you. But also, you know what really came to me just then? It's also about being nice to people on the internet. You know, here we are on the internet. And who hasn't got into a fight with someone? And right now, we don't want to get into fights with people on the internet. You know, where you've got some people saying this and some people saying that. Let us, if we are going to, if peace is going to begin with us, we have to all be nice. And it's what I'm always telling my son, just be nice, darling, you know, because obviously being a young boy, there are times when I think, oh, no, we just say it nicely, you know, like, and my mum used to drum it into me when I was growing up, darling, it's not what you say, it's the way that you say it, you know, let's all learn that lesson, you know. Let us all learn that lesson. So we are coming up to the full moon eclipse. Yeah, Joan says, maybe it goes back further. I bet this cop who was the one bullied, he was probably, yeah, maybe he was bullied as a child. I mean, that's the thing. You have to break the cycle as well, you know. I'm just reading your comments. Beautiful, beautiful comments. Costs nothing to be nice, says Carolyn. It's so true. All right, so the eclipse is coming Friday. Are you ready? So, I mean, it is kind of a lot. Eclipses are always intense. This is going to get even more intense. You know, oh, hang on, someone's saying you can't be nice when cops are shooting people in the streets for wanting their humanity. Nicole, we have to find a way because if we are, if we are being aggressive... I mean, you can't be nice. It's true. You can't just go, oh, I mean, what did, I mean, Jesus. I know that's a triggering word for a lot of people. You know, even for me, I grew up Catholic and had to kind of move away from that. But what did Jesus say? Turn the other cheek. But I mean, I guess if they're shooting at you, you can't really turn the other cheek because you'll end up dead. But, you know, you can, I don't know, withdraw from a situation where you know that you can't be nice, you know. Um, I'm a bit scared and worried about this weekend with the eclipse, says Karina. Yeah, look. We just, we, we have to meditate, you know. Um, join me for chanting. That's probably one of the best things you can do. Join me for daily weekday chanting. We do it every day, uh, about half an hour before we, we do this. It's on my Facebook events page. It's free and you can just sign up. Alexa says, I'm staying in bed for the eclipses. Can I just say, that's funny. 
<laughs> but do you know what? We can't escape the energies, you know? We can't escape the energies. We have to work through them. And the thing is, like, you know, they talk about spiritual bypassing, which is where you kind of go, oh, everything's fine, everything's lovely, la-di-da, I'm not going to be upset, even though I'm really secretly really upset. You can't fool the universe. So you have to work through it. You have to process it. And you have to forgive. And I guess on some level, we all have to forgive uh, everything that's happening in the world. And that even means somehow forgiving the unforgivable, you know. So it's a lot. It's a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, I'll do a Facebook Live on Friday for the full moon. And if you're in my Sun, Moon and Stars membership, I will uh, do something in there as well uh, just for us. Um, yeah, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a card for everybody. Nikki says women need to heal the world. Nikki, I am so with you on that. I think that women can make a massive difference. That said, because I was thinking, had there, had there been a woman in that situation with George Floyd, you know, would she have had the courage to stand up and say, you know, stop, you're going to kill him? You know, would she? I, I like to think yes. But, um, excuse me, I was listening to the Australian news this morning and there was a young Aboriginal boy um, who was arrested and, uh, you know, manhandled basically. And, and no, everyone's very upset about the way he's been handled. And two out of the three arresting officers were women. So I was thinking, okay, well, there goes that theory, you know. I mean, oh, hang on, what's this? Yeah, okay. All right, Monique, yes, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to do something. I'm still working out what we're going to do every month, but it'll, it'll, involve, it'll involve all of us together on a Zoom or something like that for the people in the sun, moon and stars. I'll put a link. We've, we've found an end date for the, the, the special price. Um, the divine feminine is emerging by degrees, says Stella. I hope you're right. I hope you're right. I think you are right. Okay. All right. Yeah, the, and Deepa says the chanting is so powerful. The chanting we're doing is amazing. It's, um, if you haven't got the memo yet, it's that. And we do it every day, and it is really powerful. Got so much to do, haven't we? All right. Okay, let's have a card. This is a card. If you are watching this on the live or the replay... This is it. This is for you. Oh my gosh. How many times have we had this card? Like anybody who's been watching these regularly knows we've had this card. I would say, I would say 70% of the time. Expect powerful change. So, you know, maybe change is still coming to this planet. Maybe change is still powerful. And maybe we just have to stay really, really on track with our vision for the world okay I'm getting a few wows there and that's because um, people know this card keeps coming up keeps coming up every every couple of days expect powerful change uh, I'll just read you some of it because sometimes what's in there is um, you know it's, it goes a bit deeper and I always say I wrote these cards, but I channeled them, so I need to read them the same as anyone. All right, so if you want an affirmation that you can achieve your dreams and get the desired outcome in the situation you're asking about, then this is it. This is a card of beginnings, and there are powerful energies at work. But be prepared, it could be quite a ride, and events now could even be jarring and uncomfortable, you think? <laughs> Um, however, any new directions you take will almost always lead somewhere better than where you are at the moment. Whatever is happening now is happening for a reason you'll appreciate later on. A new portal is opening up and all you have to do is have the courage to forget about the past and move through it. You're being put back on the right path and there's nothing to fear. And my intuition or guides or whatever are telling me that in fact what's happening now is almost could be could become like a last hurrah. So you know when there's about to be change and then you have that last minute resistance. This can be the last minute resistance. And don't forget that at the end of this month, we get another Jupiter-Pluto uh, conjunction, which is super powerful and can be a complete catalyst for change. 
So I think I'm going to leave it there. I think I've ranted enough for one day. I'm going to go and read all your comments. Um, I was actually going to ask you as well, please could you let me know what you'd like me to do for the full moon eclipse, whether you're in the sun, moon and stars or not. Um, I'll put up all the links now to everything, the full moon, the free full moon kit. The full moon kit is moonmessages.com forward slash FMK for full moon kit. Moonmessages.com forward slash FMK, full moon kit. Uh, it's just the usual full moon kit that we have every month, which has got the full moon meditation, the full moon forgiveness, chant, um, and, a, and a few other things in there to help you make the most of the full moon. I'd highly recommend you grab it because um, this is going to be one intense full moon. And we're going to do it together, I hope. I hope you'll be with me as we do it. Um, all right, so on that note, expect powerful change. Apparently it's coming and I should not lose faith. I haven't really lost faith, but um, like I just said, you know, I got that feeling like an intuition that this is like a pushback against what can actually happen. So fingers crossed, you know, intentions set for that. All right. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Lots of love.